greetings. I'm sure you guys can tell that I have stuff spread all around the floor. And I'm sure you guys can also tell by the title of what we're doing today, and that is me giving you guys an updated sports collection. Now, I did just say in a vlog that I didn't have enough stuff to do an update, but I realized after so many people continuing to ask that I haven't done a sports collection video in two years. So I've definitely gotten like a considerable amount of stuff since then. I'm not talking just jerseys, like different things. So as always, a couple of quick plugs. Make sure to use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks. G Fuel, you can save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products, and Prize Picks, it'll match up to $100 of your first deposit. Oh, don't worry, you guys are gonna get that waggle plug eventually. But for now, let's get into my updated sports collection. All right, we got the handy dandy cell phone out for this. Um, oh, what's up, Scully? Basically, what I'm going to do, though, is go over everything on the walls, and then we will hit the jerseys and stuff after that. So starting off with jerseys on the walls or memorabilia, we got a Bill sign up there. We got a Diggs jersey, a Jefferson jersey, a Joe Burrow jersey, a signed Odell jersey that came from a fan. Thank you so much. I love it. We got an Antoine Winfield Jr. jersey because he went to the U of M. It's my boy. And then, of course, a Nicholas Jamal Chubb jersey. And for those wondering why the frame is shorter well for one i only had that frame left and for two that outlet would have gotten in the way anyway so for now it looks a little wonky but i do think soon like pretty soon actually i'm going to change the backdrop uh we'll keep some jerseys but i kind of want some lighting and stuff back here up next we got a byron buxton autograph jersey i actually got that sign in person i met him that was pretty cool that was like probably seven years ago nerd stuff nerd stuff nerd stuff over here, we got my Bryce Harper jersey. I actually got that for a crazy good deal off MLBshop.com. It was when they switched from Fanatics to Nike or from Nike to Fanatics one way or another. So the jersey was like literally $60 or something. Over here, we got a sign that came from one of my fans slash Twitch mods. Jake Reed and I think Steve Jordan. We got my Bobbleheads, which is the Bomba Squad, Byron Buxton, KG. And we got a signed baseball by Joe Nathan and a Miguel Sano Bobblehead. As well as a baseball that's actually very unique because it's signed by Patrick Mahomes Sr. and Latroy Hawkins, who is Patrick Mahomes' godfather. So if I ever meet Pat Mahomes in real life, I'm having him sign this baseball. We got my 300 bowling ring, if you guys have never seen that. Madden 21, that's legendarily displayed because that game was so awful. A sign that a fan made for me and a bill sign on my door. Now, I know my lighting's terrible, but we got a Drew Bledsoe figure that a fan sent me, a can of the Pills Mafia that a fan sent me, a helmet that a fan sent me, and then a Diggs Hot Sauce slash Josh Allen cereal that a fan sent me sent me. Well, that we got the Bills helmet. And then we got a WWE world title replica, a WWE modern title replica. Well, not really any more modern, I guess. We got the Attitude Era belt and the Winged Eagle belt. Got this little baseball card sign. Anthony Edwards jersey framed. Cool ass Michael Jordan picture I framed. And then all my pennants. Also, I'm not going to go through all my sports cards because it would be a video in itself. But this whole side here is graded slabs and these are all like, you know, pretty good hits. My pride and joy right here. Or this. You guys already know I got my boy. We got my other boy. I did invest in Terry as well. I think I got DJ and Jerry. Yep, there's DJ. I swear I got Jerry Judy sometime. Yep, there he is as well. But yeah, that's my rare sports cards. All right, so now that I got like all my memorabilia and stuff out of the way, we are now gonna hop into the jerseys, but I have them all separated into different categories and I will explain that when we start. So now that we are ready to begin, I will go over the categories of each pile. These are jerseys that I got because I legitimately like the player. I support that player or team. These are jerseys that I got from fans. These are not football jerseys. These are jerseys that I have in a bin that I will probably never wear again. I don't know why Adam Thielen was in there though. And these are all jerseys that I own specifically because I have them for skits. I did get DJ because I liked him, but he left like the day after I ordered that jersey, so fuck him. Anyway, let's start with the non-football so we got Kyrie one we got Kyrie two this one was actually from a fan I should have put that in the other pile we got Matt Dumba from the Minnesota Wild we got Ken Griffey Jr. I want to frame this one bad but I want a real like authentic shadow box when I frame it we got Tory Hunter and this is that old style jersey that everyone liked that I wore in uh, my baseball review video and last but not least we got Tim Wakefield this was my dad's and uh, he liked him because he threw the knuckleball and then I liked the jersey so I took it anyway next we'll do the pile of just 
old miscellaneous jerseys that I will probably never wear again. I, I guess I threw Thielen in here when I moved out of my apartment in the cities, and that's where it's been all these years, but now he's not a Viking, so we can pull him. Got this Percy Harvin that was like a unique style, cool Vikings jersey, but I mean, I'll probably never wear it again. Sam Bradford. <laughs> Blair Wallace? Oh man, that was from a troll fan too, actually. I should have put that in the pile, my bad. If I'm not mistaken, the same fan sent me- Yeah, okay, he sent me the Nathan Peterman too. This guy was a real ass. <laughs> I appreciate it though, man, it's funny. After Peter go, we got- Oh my- I bought that when I was extremely intoxicated once. It's actually one of my first jerseys I ever had. Tyrod Taylor, another one that was one of my first. And Shady McCoy! Yeah, I mean, this guy's a complete douchebag now, so I, I really don't think I'll ever wear this. All right, so continuing on, we will now do jerseys that were sent to me from fans. So we had this Philip Rivers shirt slash jersey that was sent to me by a fan named Ernie. I believe Ernie also sent me this t-shirt that just says, Go Bolts. I was given an Antonio Gibson jersey back when he was like my favorite running back when I thought he was going to be good. I still love this jersey. This was like the kindest thing ever. This is an authentic like NFL shop jersey. A Steven Hauschka jersey. A Tom Brady jersey. A Juju jersey. And Carson Wentz. This one is actually from one of my friends at 10K Takes. Now we'll go on to the jerseys I got because I support the players right after I'm done plugging Waggle Golf. Use code Wyatt10 and any of these hats could be yours for a discounted price, baby. All right, now the jerseys of the players that I like. Got that Jalen Hurts number two jersey. We got Fred Warner. We got Justin Herbert. We got AJ Terrell Jr. We got Jared Goff, Lions version. We got Joshua Patrick Allen VIII. We got Von Biller. Fun fact, this was a jersey I had custom made the day we signed him in free agency. It's from NFLshop.com, but like the Von Miller jerseys weren't out yet. And then Trey White, one of the cleanest jerseys I own. I do also want to show you guys before I go on to the last pile here. This is all the fan mail that was ever sent to me. Um, I've kept everything. Literally everything that was ever sent to me. So if you guys are wondering if I threw your stuff away, nope. I still have it, and I will always have it. Look at that, dude. Someone drew that of me. That's pretty crazy. I mean, this is just tons and tons of mail. All right, last pile. Starting off, we got DJ William Moore. Then we've got Fraudula Allen from the Jags, because, you know, it's not the real Josh. We got an old Zach Thomas Dolphins jersey. This was at one point my brother's. As well as this Stafford jersey from the Lions. This was my brother's. We got a Saquon Barkley jersey that I had to buy because I bashed him so hard, and then he made me look like such a stupid fucking jackass idiot that I had to buy a jersey. We got Deion Sanders. Yeah, for anybody who thinks it's a Zeke jersey, it's not. It's prime time. We got a Zach Wilson jersey that I let people decide on any player in the league to get their jersey, and this is who they picked. I will never do that again. We got Tim Tebow Jets jersey. This was my brother's. We got a Tim Tebow Broncos jersey. This was my brother's. We got a toilet paper rug. Get out of here. We got CJ2K. This was my brother's at one point. We got Drew Brees. This was my brother's at one point. And we got the biggest mistake I made in the last year is buying this jersey because I really, you know, was supposed to support him. But he's just such an idiot. Just kind of a bad person in general. It was just a mistake. We got Randy. I mean, I guess this is a personal jersey, but I just use it for skits. Rogers. You go in purgatory. Browns, Tyrod Taylor. And ending is the first jersey that I ever owned. Cadillac Williams. I mean, I couldn't have been any older than about nine when I had this. Like, I did not know a single player in the league. I just liked the logo, so my dad got it for me. Didn't even watch football at all. All right, guys, and that is going to be all for my updated sports collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do to show support. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I try my best to post on this channel every single day. I do think I'm going to try and stream at some point this afternoon, so if you're seeing this, make sure to check out my Twitch after the video. However, with everything I just said, I'm going to hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Enjoy your weekend, and as always, I will see you in the next upload.